Shall we? Oh, we shall. Shall we clink? Yes. Well, this is more like a thud. <laughs> Plastic. But, oh yeah, that was bad. <laughs> it's good to be back. I was off last week. Drew did a phenomenal job covering for right now. Oh, thank you. Yes, as well as Andy and Whitney and uh, Colin as well, right? Yeah. So, um, but it's good to be back. Rachel's actually sick this morning, so she's laying low. That's yeah. what happens when you spend too much time away from us. I guess so. You know, just she was sick of not being here. Yes. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we wanted to try something kind of new and different. This is a total experiment. We've prepared maybe two minutes because when maybe. Rachel's sick, Brian has like a lot more work to do at home. So uh, we didn't really prepare a lot, but we're going to try something which is taking two pens, debating them, and uh, you know, talking about pros and cons. Debating about them. Yes. We were, <laughs> Drew and I were trying to find two pens. All we right, you like, listen here, buddy. We were like pulling. <laughs> Yes, we will not be debating with the pen itself. Uh, but Sorry we'll to disappoint you. We'll be debating each other. Uh, but, uh, you know, I wanted to, like, have a pen that we had, like, a really strong stance, like me versus Drew. And the problem is that we're both so optimistic and we yeah. love basically everything that that very quickly broke yeah. down. So we're, it's like... We're total marks. But we're <laughs> yeah. going gonna to do our very best. And while one of us isn't going to be necessarily on one side or the other, we are going to have a little healthy pro-con discussion about the Lamy Safari and Lamy All-Star. All -Star. Yes, this is a hotly debated thing. Um, literally, we just kind of pick these at random, so don't read too much into it. Uh, but uh, I know this is something that's kind of hotly debated, uh, so I will do my best to try to represent Team Safari, even though I'm Team All-Star for the most part. Uh, Drew is more or less Team All-Star, and he'll try and debate as well. So Drew, let's start off. Why would you want an All-Star? Well, Brian, I'm sorry to kill this debate before it even begins, but there's no brown safari. <laughs> well, the end. Shut it down, Andy. <laughs> there has We're been done a, here. There has been a brown safari, but it's been like a regional exclusive. What? Kind oh, of thing. the one with yeah. the bear on the it. That brown one, yeah. <gasps> That's right. I need but that. But it wasn't widely available. Mm, yeah, I you know, need you can, that. You can buy one for like two hundred dollars on eBay if you want. They're like insanely expensive. <sighs> That's all right. The, so that's the thing with all these limited colors. Like once they're gone, they always jack up. And the honestly, price. the coffee all star is also something you can't get anymore. But still, that's a good looking pen. That is a good looking pen. I when, will admit that. When I started working here, this pen was available. It was. We did. Yeah. We did and and you were like, it. oh, cool. And then it went away very quickly after you started working here. And we were like, oh yeah, that's never going to be available yeah, again. See ya. Yeah. All right. Do so you have one of those? I do. Okay. I do. Good to know. Um, and honestly, they look better. They have a just a more vibrant color scheme because they are aluminum, and I think that for the marginal, you know, upcharge, you get a bigger aesthetic improvement. You think that it has a more vibrant color scheme well, than the Safari? Not really? Maybe may, may, may vibrant. No, what did you? What were your words? I think I might have actually forget. said vibrant. I don't know what I said, <laughs> but like I think that they. I think history they, will prove. They have, this, they have this. They have this. They have this sheen to them. This 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 aluminum, just aura that you can't get. Like look at look at look at look at, aura, look at really. these two. Which one is prettier? Come on now, really? Okay. One okay. of these. I will has, give it to you. They are shinier. One of these has a beautiful halo of loveliness, and the other one is flat and boring. Mm-hmm. Fair wah, enough. Wah. Fair enough. <laughs> Wow. It did that by itself. I didn't even do that. Wow. It's like a Ouija board. It did it by itself. So, I'll, I'll get a turn now with the Safari. <laughs> so, uh, I will give you that there is a, a shininess, a quality, a, a oh. halo, if you will, <laughs> to the All-Star. Uh, but some things that the Safari has going for it. Uh, I would say durability. Even though it's plastic over metal, it's not going to like ding and scratch and stuff like that the same that the All-Star could if you like dropped it on concrete or fling it across the parking lot or something like that. For sure. Um, the Safari, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take its dings in stride. And yeah, it's going to scratch and stuff like that. But um, You don't know anybody that would actually fling a pen across a parking lot, do you? I don't know. That sounds crazy to me. No. Especially a heavy metal pen. Uh, but uh, the Safari, I think a lot of people consider Safari to be like the workhorse pen. Yeah. Like I know people that are literally are like miners that like drill like tunnels and stuff like that. And like one guy, Using one, the guy safari. one customer in particular, yeah, he carries a charcoal Safari and he like keeps that in his like work vest and and does like drilling stuff with it. You know what? Drilling one stuff. one uh, I'll I'll go with you there. The charcoal Safari like. 
in a way, is kind of like the flagship uh, Safari. And I don't know if the All-Star has, you know, one pen like that. The blue one's pretty yeah. popular. This was, blue, I think. This, was yeah, my very first, anyway. this was my very first fountain pen. That's a good one. Um, so I might be a little sentimental here. Ironically, the one you're holding is not a fountain pen. <gasps> That's a roller ball. Oh! Um, <laughs> Just had yeah, to point can, that out in case no, somebody no. saw. They're like, there's no ink window there's on that no pen. There's no window, yep. That's right. Ooh, this is my favorite nib here. <laughs> That's a good one. The black one. That's called the Invisi nib. Yeah, Invisi nib. Mm -hmm. You know, now we won't be carrying this. No. Unfortunately, this That's was, an exclusive. This, this is a prototype. A Brian Gula exclusive. I need you to put it. I can't see <laughs> Oh, sorry. Whoa! Easy there, fella. It's durable. Hmm. Proving a All point. Right, now we can get the joke. Ah, I see, it's nibs. not a nib. I was trying to be funny, but so you know. yeah. For me, I I have nibs on a lot of my safaris and, and all stars, and some of them I don't because they all swap in between each other. That's one great thing about all of these steel nibs, both pens. pens. They all swap with each other's nibs, so you can swap them around and sometimes I do that and sometimes I take the nibs off and just kind of keep them stored away in little containers and don't have them actually on the pen so that way if I'm like I want a blue ocean blue all-star with a medium nib boop 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 search swap swoop there swoop, we go swoop, swap, swoop, yeah. there you go and you know it they're not just you really do need a little bit of both because they're not always like oh here's the blue version of this here's a blue version of this while that is sometimes true you don't always have a all-star version of a safari color or a safari version of an all-star color. That's true. So like, you kind of do need to get some of each. Like petrol, for example. That was a special edition that came out last year. Mm -hmm. There is no petrol equivalent in the all-star, though that would be pretty cool if there was. That would be pretty um, cool. Yeah, and there's no, like, uh, there's no neon. Well, there's sort of a neon. You have, like, this charged green. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know which you all think is better. But and is uh, is there a teal safari? Not that I'm aware or of. Blue blue green, I guess. Not better really answer. like a blue green. The, yeah. You know the aqua. So you, you is need to you need to go with uh, you need to go with the all star if you're yeah. fan of the blue green. Yeah. So there's all these different colors. This is just my personal collection here. Um, I do yes have a mixture of some roller balls and even, I even have a ballpoint and a pencil in here. But that's only because I could not get the original colors of the safaris in anything but those. Because they're incredibly hard to find. Like that but brown teddy bear pen. That's right. I forget what that was called. That's I don't gonna know. really bother was me Was it like now. a Korean exclusive? Mm -hmm. or, yeah. yeah. Singapore or Korea? I can't remember. South Korea. Well, if you know it, comment below. If yes, you know it, just send one to me. Thanks, Andy. Uh, but anyway, um, and then the, to kind of finally uh, end the debate, if you will, for my side here, the Safari. Uh, the Safari is less expensive, so it's more attainable. So, boom. It is. Uh, but the cool thing is you can swap converters between both of them. You can swap nibs between both of them. So that's why it's so easy to accidentally start collecting them like I did. Is because you're like, oh, this color's kind of cool. Oh, this mm -hmm. color's kind of cool. Oh, this color's kind of cool. Well, I've gotten the last three colors, so let me go ahead and get the next one. Oh, wait, I've got a whole collection. Let me try and round it out. And then before you know it, you have three trays of All-Stars and Safaris. I don't think this happens to everybody, though. This is... More than you might know. So anyway, let us know what you think. <laughs> if you are a Team Safari or a Team All-Star, uh, we would love to hear your debates in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this very ill-prepared, but an attempt at a new kind of thing that we're doing it right now. Hope you have a great Monday, and right on.